I came back to this because still on 53rd Street, here are two old style wooden houses. Just left there. Every once in a while you read about these. There's like seven of them left in the city. The original wooden fronts. I think it was seven, maybe it was five. I know I set out one day and found about three or four of them. They're all up here, kind of. There's a couple in the village. But they're pretty cool. I have no idea what they're like inside, but that's the original facade. Simple house front. Wood. <laughs> windows. What's a funny lady? Mansard roof. And now I'm going to walk by them. One's yellow, one's white. I don't know what their stories are, but the address is 312 and 314. 53rd Street, and I'll look it up. Let's see, sometime. And uh, that's it. Turn it around now. Constructed in 1886 as a factory for the manufacture of cigars on this site had been clapboard row houses, stables, and a foundry. Some 45 years later, the timekeeper became a center for the production of specialized woodworking, painstaking rehabilitation in 1989. So, I don't know what the timekeeper is, but I'm all across the street and look. Across the street. Let's come to an agreement here, thank you. All right, now there's the timekeeper. I don't know what it says. Tanzania house. So I don't, I don't know. I don't see. I guess it has a painstaking restoration. Lousiest windows in the world. Single pane glass. They cheaped out as a crummy restoration. Because the building lost all its character with those windows. That's all right. Cops are having a heart attack because I'm filming a building. Poor guys. New York thinks anymore because I mean they'll throw a World's Fair and have all this stupid stuff and let you go at it but here they present to the world just a cool leftover city pieces of this and that and because of the political climate everybody's crazy if you take out cameras and stuff nobody wants to know anything weird. Can't do this and you can't do that. Everybody's on phones. I mean everywhere. But they don't really care anyway. Walking their kids with phones. Probably the kids are on phones. Doesn't anybody ever shut up? 